What's up guys, Hagster TCD, the channel that brings you guys competitive Pokemon content, here today with deck analysis from last night's top 16, from the Hagster top deck tournament number 2, series 2, we were playing post rotation format, so the first, I think, probably major post rotation tournament, had 87 players show up last night, compete from around the world, uh, for some packs, and for the Hagster points here to qualify for the Invitational coming up in about a month or so. Uh, yeah, it was a great tournament, got some interesting results, going to be going over all the top 16 deck lists here. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, go leave a comment down below on uh, what you guys want to see next on here. I'm going to be covering some more content here in the future. Also, make sure to go follow the Twitch channel. I stream all the tournaments live, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, and also, I stream on other days pretty much daily. Uh, so go give that Twitch channel a follow. Twitch.tv forward slash HexterTG will be in the description. And if you guys want to play in these tournaments, have a shot at playing against some of these uh, top competitors from around the world. Go ahead and click that Discord link in the description. Uh, I'll take you to our link for our Hexter TCG Discord page, uh, where we post the announcements for our Battlefy links. Uh, we run these tournaments Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. So go click that link, go get in these tournaments, go play, have some fun, uh, and get some good competition here. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to jump right into these lists here. So top 16 out of 87 players here. Uh, seven rounds of Swiss with a top 8 cut. So I'll be going over all the people who finished uh, with a 5-2 record here for top 16 first. And then going into the top 8 lists as well. Uh, one person bubbled out uh, at a 5-1-1 record of, uh, from top 8. Uh, but yeah. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get to the list here. I want to start with our top 16 list here. Sam Elliott piloting ADP Zacian here. Uh, pretty cookie cutter, I think, standard list, but does play a few interesting inclusions I want to talk about. Uh, number one, uh, ADP, RC style Gunpokia, the main attacker in this deck. Alter Creation GX, uh, obviously for a metal boosting damage done to your opponent's actives by 30. And then if you have an extra water, the main appeal of this, uh, you'd take an extra prize card, which is very big in this game. Uh, so ADP just wants to set the pace, trade, take some prizes pretty quickly, uh, and set up. Uh, the other attacker this deck does play is Zacian V here. Brave Blade dealing 230 damage, 260 with boosted alter creation for 3. And Trepid Sword is also a great ability to end your turn off and possibly accelerate some energies into play. Uh, for other attackers here, it's playing 2 copies of Dereladon, so I can only assume Sam played this to have a good out against Decidueye, uh, which some players expected to be pretty popular in this new meta. Power Beam doing 110, 140 boosted with alter creation, so we'll be able to one-shot a Decidueye, assuming he doesn't have a big charm or some other way to uh, modify and increase his HP. Uh, was playing uh, one copy of Zamacenta as well. We saw that the first and second place decks here in the, uh, last night were VMAX decks. So Dauntless Shield, preventing damage done to this Pokemon by VMAX. This is a great way to wall out those VMAX Pokemon, uh, set the pace, and uh, put on some aggression without your opponent really having a response to it. Uh, besides that, playing three support Pokemon, two to Dene GX, instead of change, discard your hand, draw six. Pretty standard stuff we'll see on a lot of lists, as well as Eldegoss V with Happy Match to bring supporters back, bring back your boss's orders, draw supporters, whatever you need here. Uh, so only playing 11 Pokemon here onto items, two copies of Cherish Ball to find out your ADPs and Dedenes, one copy of Energy Spinner here to find those basic energies that are needed, uh, three copies of Energy Switch here to try to, uh, push to get that turn one, also manipulating energy around your board is just good in general, uh, so moving energy from one Pokemon to another allows you to get ADP possibly up in one turn with the combination of Metal Saucer, which allows you to attach a Metal Energy from Discard Pile to one of your Bench Battle Pokemon, we'll see this a lot here in these ADP lists, can get Zacia powered up very quickly without the need of Ultimate Ray on ADP. Uh, interesting inclusion in here, three copies of Pokemon Catcher. We haven't seen this card be played much with the uh, release of Boss's Orders. But as a flip card, if you flip heads, you get the same effect as Boss's Orders, switch the active Pokemon with one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So maybe in turns where you have to dig with research to maybe get a Zacian powered up or attack with another one of your attackers, Pokemon Catcher can allow you to gust up these easy two prize Pokemon, such as a Dene, Eldegoss, Crobat, to take three prizes on them due to Alter Creation. Four copies of Quick Ball, very standard in this deck, plays all basics, so this is the best way to search out your basic Pokemon. Four copies of Switch, obviously, uh, Zacian cannot attack after it uses Brave Blade next turn, so we want to be able to reset that to the bench, uh, and four copies of Switch is a great way to do that. Interesting inclusion, four copies of Turbo Patch, a flip a coin of Heads to get an energy from your discard pile into one of your basic non-GX Pokemon. So this is also another way to get Zacian powered up quickly. So eight energy acceleration from discard, eight energy acceleration cards from discard pile, I should say, uh, played in Sam's deck. Two copies of Viridian Forest, just another way to play, uh, just another energy spinner essentially. But it's a stadium, so you could possibly have multiple uses if your opponent doesn't bump it. Discard a card from your hand, search your deck for any basic energy, put it into your hand, and that's it for items of stadiums. Uh, just play one copy of Bird Keeper here uh, to switch out and draw three cards. So great uh, card to do both of these here, switching 
and drawing yourself some cards. Two copies of Boss's Orders, switching your opponent's active Pokemon with on their bench Pokemon. Obviously, Gust is the name of this game. Uh, name of this deck wants to go ahead and gust up these easy Pokemon, take prizes, and sort of win in a few turns after it uses Ultra Creation. Two copies of Marnie, great disruption and draw. You're going to see it in a lot of decks here. And uh, four copies of Research to discard and draw seven. On to energies here. Plays 10 copies of metal energy here. Uh, obviously, you only play water energy for your ADP. All your other attackers need metal energy, so it's no surprise that there are much more metal energy in this deck. Also, Metal Saucer only works on metal energy. And then uh, three copies of water energy here to round out our list. I'm going to take a quick drink of water here because we're going to be doing a lot of talking here. Alrighty. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's our 16th place list here. On to the 15th place list. Uh, it is Samuel Havda piloting Eternatus VMAX here, uh, a deck we saw a lot of today uh, in uh, the Hexer Top Deck Tournament from last night, rather. It's a little bit early here, I'm still waking up. We'll go into the deck, Th four copies of Crobat here, mainly for that Dark Asset ability, letting you draw two of six, so reminiscent of Shaman EX. Just a great way to draw yourself cards, and it is also a good bench Pokemon uh, to boost Eternatus VMAX's uh, damage output. Speaking of Eternatus VMAX, uh, 340 HP VMAX, so it gives up three prizes. Eternal Zone allows you to have eight Pokemon uh, in your on your bench if it, this Pokemon is in play. They have to be all dark. That's not a problem for this deck, as we only play dark-type Pokemon. Dread End is the attack as well this deck uses. 30 damage for each Pokemon in play, or dark Pokemon in play, rather. But we only play dark Pokemon, so each Pokemon in play can deal up to 270 damage here without modifiers. So such as Zigzagoon, which we do play four copies of, uh, Headbutt Chantrum, putting 10 damage on one of your opponent's Pokemon, and we can reuse that with our scoop up net that we play, letting us pick it up and put it back into our hands so we can rebench it and deal some more damage. Uh, and the only other Pokemon it plays in here is uh, two copies of different Hoopas. So one copy of the Evil Admonition Hoopa dealing more damage to your opponent's Pokemon if they have abilities in play. The more abilities, the more damage. And one copy of Hoopa from Darkness of Blaze that just came out with Assault Gate. Does 90 damage if it was from the bench and came to the active here. So great one prize attackers uh, to deal some damage and set up. Uh, the, uh, the Eternatus to take these uh, knockouts on some of those bigger Pokemon. On to items, four copies of Great Ball here. Finding those Pokemon from the deck, looking at top seven, find any Pokemon, and then three copies of Pokemon Communication. Again, reveal a Pokemon from your hand. Uh, search deck for any Pokemon. So great to maybe put your hand size down a little bit so you can Crobat for some more cards. And also a good way to find Eternatus VMAX. Uh, as well. Four copies of Quick Ball. We see this in a lot of decks. Discard a card, find a basic. This deck plays a lot of basics and it wants to draw cards and discard cards in the hand. So Crobat is a uh, usually a great target for Quick Ball as well as getting your Eternus down. We already covered Scoob Net. Does play two copies of Switch as well. Switching active to bench here. So only uh, six Switch outs here. Two that are uh, on non basic Pokemon or non, -Poke non V or GX Pokemon here. Uh, and yeah, that's it for items here. Does also play two copies of Air Balloon as the tool. Uh, so my bad. Plays eight Switching outs here. Uh, so this is also a great way to get your Pokemon out of the active here. Switch them up uh, and get what your attackers into the active. Does play two Power Plant here, so I believe this is the only turn of this list we saw playing Power Plant. Great at disrupting GX and e GX Pokemon abilities. Obviously, EXs are not standard, uh, so this is great. Making sure your opponent cannot play it. Then a GX down, uh, and can't use some of those other GX abilities that are pretty prevalent in this format, to say the least. To say the least here. Uh, onto supporter cards, three copies of Boss's Orders to switch your opponent's active, gust them out, take knockouts with Eternatus on the targets you want. Three copies of Marnie, Disruption, Draw, and Research to discard your hand, draw seven. And that's it for the supporters. And an interesting energy count, pretty high energy count here. Three copies of Capture Energy, provides a colorless energy, and lets you put a Pokemon from your deck onto your bench. Uh, and Eternatus only requires a Dark and Colorless in its attack cost, so can afford to use one of these capture energy and then just use a dark energy which this deck does play eight of here to power up that eternatus uh, as well so yeah that's a 15th place list here samuel is piloting it to a top 16 finish uh and yeah we'll move on to our 14th place list ricardo uh celebroni uh excuse me if i pronounce uh names wrong our only senna scorch deck in top 16 so wanted to pilot senna scorch here I mean, pretty nice finish. Uh, obviously, Santa Scorch VMAX, that main attacker here. GMAX Santa Ferna doing 40 damage, plus 40 more for each fire energy on this Pokemon. So your goal is to weld a bunch of energies onto here and hit for some big damage. You can also use Volcanion, with this, which this deck plays four copies of. Uh, to use Flare Starter, you usually want to go second with this deck. can get three energy to play to make it even easier for Santa Scorch VMAX to hit high amounts of damage. The other attacker this deck does play is Heatran GX. You want a good GX to attack in this deck, and Hot Burn is no exception to that. 50 damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon, and Burning Road allows you to move any number of fire energy on your board to Heatran when it comes up. So you don't have to worry about uh, weldering turn after turn onto Heatran. You can weld onto any Pokemon. And then when Heatran comes up, you can just move it to the active, and uh, hey, all those fire energies on my board are now on Heatran. 
Uh, and then for support Pokemon, playing two copies of Dene for Dead to Change here, one copy of Crobat with the Dark Asset to draw yourself some cards, Shaman EX essentially, and one copy of Eldegoss here to get back some of your supporters, which we do play a few copies of. Uh, onto items here, three copies of Pokegear 3.0. It's a great way to find out your supporter cards. You don't really have another way to find them besides just naturally drawing into them. So gear is a great way to search them out here. We see less decks going for the Starachi approach and going for more of a Poke Gear approach here uh, as the uh, skateboard card did rotate out uh, from Ultra Prism. So I think decks valuing consistency more with uh, Poke Gear rather than uh, Jirachi being a liability. Uh, it's playing four copies of Pokemon Communication to search out Pokemon and four copies of Quick Ball cards we see in a lot of these lists. Two copies of Reset Stamp to disrupt the opponent. Uh, make them shuffle their hand in. If they take an early lead, Reset Stamp could definitely punish them. Four copies of Switch, pretty standard stuff in a lot of decks here. Three copies of Giant Hearth here allows Fire Energy to be found out of the deck pretty easily, which uh, combos very well with Welder. So you can Giant Hearth, use it, and then just Welder the energy you get out of the deck. Uh, so we see a lot of these Senna Scorch decks and Fire decks, nevertheless, playing these Giant Hearth cards. Uh, and one copy of Wondrous Labor, the Prism Star, allows non-fairy Pokemon to attack for one colorless more. And this is great in this deck when Senna Scorch is usually going to be attacking with uh, more than two energy on it. So it doesn't really impact Senna Scorch too much, but can have a big impact on a lot of these decks, especially if Wondrous Labor can't get bumped. It can put in a lot of work against a bunch of different decks. On a supporter card, two copies of Boss, great card to gust up. A copy of Mal and Lana here, switching into healing. Uh, healing is great, especially when Senna Scorch has 320 uh, hit points, so... Great to keep that thing alive, and then the main support in this deck, four copies of Welder, accelerating energies on the board, and drawing yourself some cards. It's playing one copy of Air Balloon as well, allows Pokemon to retreat for two colorless less. Uh, so again, great at allowing things like Volcanion to retreat for free, Crobats, Eligos, Adene, you name it. And to round out the deck, 14 copies of Fire Energy wants to play a lot here and make sure that he hits those in combination with Welder to get up and running here. So Ricardo playing that list to a top 16 finish, 14th place for him. We'll move on to the 13th place list. Surprise, surprise, it is another Eternatus here. We'll kind of be going through these Eternatuses a little bit fast, uh, sort of noting the uh, inclusions here. Four copies of Eternatus VMAX, four copies of Eternatus, 4-4 four, four line here, four copies of Zigzagoon, as we've seen before, is playing that 1-1 one, one split of Hoopa as well. Uh, and some interesting inclusion uh, it, here is this copy of Sableye V. Uh, so two interesting attacks here. Load Search allows trainers to be put back into hand. So especially in these open deckless tournaments, Load Search can be a great option if you know your opponent is out of a certain out, such as Reset, Stamp, and Marnie. You can Load Search to maybe grab back a boss that you have gone to sort of guarantee yourself a game or a checkmate situation for turns to follow. Increasing Crazy Claws is a great damage, mod uh, great damage attack. 10 plus 60 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active, and Zigzagoon helps set up masterfully uh, for that damage output <laughs> on Sable IV. On to item cards, three copies of Great Ball, finding those Pokemon on the deck, four PCOM and four Quick Ball as well, and two copies of that Reset Stamp card. Uh, it's a nice comeback mechanic here. Four copies of Super Up Net, we see a lot of those in this deck. Only opting to play one card, uh, one copy of Switch here. Uh, and opting to go more on this Dark City route, which we also see in some of these lists. It is in the second place list, and I believe the 10th place list as well here. Uh, allowing basic Dark Pokemon to have no retreat cost and retreat for free. Uh, so we see lists sort of opting to play Dark City uh, over high counts of Air Balloon on Switch here. As most uh, Dark Pokemon that are basic, except for a turn of this VMAX, will get free retreat with this stadium in play. Is also playing one copy of Tool Scrapper here to get rid of cards like Big Charm on those uh, tag team Pokemon to ensure that they can get one-shotted very swiftly by the Eternatus VMAX. Uh, onto supporters, four copies of boss, so um, I think uh, Felipe, pl piloting this deck, wants to make sure he can gust up the Pokemon he wants here, take those prizes pretty quickly and uh, on the targets he wants, and uh, looks like two copies of Marnie here, and four copies of Research as the draw supporters in this deck. And uh, nine energy here, this is a pretty uh, standard energy count that we see in a lot of these decks, one capture energy to find those basic Pokemon. Four copies of Hiding Energy here uh, provides dark energy and gives uh, the Pokemon attached to free retreats. So two great effects here. Why not give your uh, Why not get dark energy and free retreat here? Sure, if there was no limit, more cop more decks would be decks would be playing more copies of Hiding Energy and four copies of basic dark energy. So nine total energy in the deck here. Here's the list again uh, for you guys wanting to see what it is. Uh, so yeah, congratulations to Felipe finishing 13th here. Uh, we'll move into the 12th place list here. Mike Fouché piloting a very interesting deck here. Bringing Tomb, Spirit Tomb here to uh, top 16. 
I think he uh, tweeted out that he didn't have any of the new VMAX cards. So why not play Tomb? And top 16 is something to scoff at here. Spear Tomb, 60 HP, basic Pokemon, Building Spite. Puts damage counters on itself, which on paper may seem bad, but it pairs beautifully with Anguish Cry. Temple's 30 more for each damage counter, and we have ways to make sure that Spear Tomb can put a lot of damage on itself and deal some big damage here. Four copies of Jirachi here. Stellar Wish. Uh, this is the first list I think that we saw playing Stellar Wish here, uh, the Jirachi, to find those trainer cards off the top of the deck. Uh, place two copies of Jinx here. Ominous Posture is great at making sure uh, damage can get on Spirit Tomb. Uh, wants to make sure that Spirit Tomb can get tons of damage on itself so it can swing for big damage here uh, in combination with Ta Cave of Toughness allowing it to survive a little bit longer. Uh, is playing one copy of Throw here. This is a cool card we saw a little bit in lists uh, in the post rotate and the pre rotation format from uh, Ultra Present to Darkness Blaze. Uh, throw does a reverse shoulder throw 30 plus 90 more if any of your bench Pokemon have damage counters on it Which is very likely with spirit tomb and then get powered up in one turn We'll just cover this right now with the one copy of karate belt allowing uh the Pokemon this card is attached to to attack for one fighting less so only needs uh one colorless energy So any energy this deck to uh, attack and this is great against uh some of these dark type uh, These fight type weak Pokemon such as Eternatus here uh, and even stuff like Vika Volt if that comes back into play a uh, feast support Pokemon here, Marshadow with resetting hold to discard stadium cards from play, or Ikorio to draw you cards every time your Pokemon gets knocked out. And one copy of the Dene GX as well. Discard your hand, draw six cards. We're going to take another uh, drink of water here. So we're playing three copies of Great Ball here, uh, and four copies of Quick Ball as our Pokemon search out. This deck only plays 14 Pokemon, so not too many. Don't really need too many switching outs here. One copy of Great Catcher here. Gr still, GXs are still in this format and still prevalent, so Great Catcher is a great way to gust them up uh, and knock out the GX Pokemon. You want two uh, recovery cards here. One Lava's Fishing Rod to get a Pokemon and tool back, and one Warrior Rod to get back some of your basic energy and Pokemon. So it wants to uh, utilize uh, having tools and Pokemon as well as energy in the deck. Uh, and wants to play those recovery cards to get there. Four copies of Scoop Up Net. Uh, this is a great way to get Jirachi out of the active. Can also reset Jinx, so you can use Ominous Posture multiple times during your turn. So also just a good card here. And then four copies of Switch as an, uh, our last item card, excluding tools here we'll cover in a second. Uh, for Stadiums, it does play four copies of Spike Muth. Spike Muth? Spike Muth? I don't know how to say it. Chat, correct me in the comments below. Uh, whenever an active Pokemon moves to the bench, you put two damage counters on that. So if your Rachi switches, it just allows uh, Jigs to Ominous Posture that damage onto the uh, Spirit Tomb. Pairs really well with this deck that wants to have damage on their board and in play. So four copies, why not? Play the maximum amount there and onto supporters. Four copies of Bird Keeper, again, pairing really well with Spike Muth. Uh, switching your active with your bench and drawing cards so you can switch out a Rachi and a Spear Tomb, build the Spite, move the Spite with Ominous Posture, and just set up for big damage and big knockouts here. Two copies of Boss. Again, Gust Effects are great in this deck. A lot of these decks are playing Boss Orders. I don't think there was a single deck that didn't play Boss Orders. Uh, so I think really dom uh, showing itself how dominant it is. And uh, four copies of Research to round out supporters. Onto tool cards here. Four copies of Tape of Cape of Toughness here. Uh, from this recent expansion here. It says the basic Pokemon this card's attached to uh, deals 50 damage here. Uh, or has 50 more HP. Sorry, chat. Uh, working on uh, just some technical difficulties here. So 50 more HP uh, if it's not a GX and a basic Pokemon. So uh, solid stuff there. And one copy of Karate Belt as well. If you have more prize cards than your opponent, uh, the Pokemon this card's attached to is one less. So we cover that with Throw. And then Energy. Three copies of Aurora Energy. It provides a rainbow, basically, any type. Yeah, discard a card from your hand, and then four Hiding Energy, and four copies of Darkness Energy. So again, yeah, congrats to Mike on his finish there uh, for Top 16. As we're moving on to the 11th place list here, Danny Altavilla here, piloting a very, very interesting deck. Inteleon VMAX with Omastar. Inteleon having Hydro Snipe, 16 returning energy to hand, uh, is the probably main attack in this deck, as well as Max Bolt can deal 160 and 60 Snipe. And this deck plays a lot of energy disruption in it as well. Uh, also combined with Item Lock here with Almastar, Fossil Bind says that if you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, they cannot play item cards from their hand, which is definitely a great way to shut down their acceleration and their pacing here. Uh, and that's it for Pokemon here. So only playing 12 Pokemon plays one copy of Caspacious Bucket to find water energy out of the deck. And uh, yeah, four copies of Crushing Hammer, discarding energy from your opponent's Pokemon, want to slow down the pace, want to make it so that these uh, decks that need to attach energy every turn get slowed down and just get Hydra sniped over and over and over again. Two copies of Evolution Incense. To find those Evolution Pokemon, such as Oma, Star, and Inteleon. For, Co for Poke Gear, again, you want a good way to find those supporters out of your deck. And Poke Gear is a great exception here for Danny uh, to find those out. Two copies of Pokemon Communication, again, some more search options. Three Reset Stamp wants to make sure he can stamp uh, his opponents down low. And uh, have them not drawn anything here, so very nice on him. One copy of Switch here. 
Just an active Pokemon with the bench. Drawing himself some cards. Uh, not drawing himself some cards. Sorry, chat. It's very early for me. Just to switch to the bench here. Uh, and yeah, that's it for item cards here. Besides two copies of Air Balloon. Again, giving some less retreat. Allows Omo Star to retreat for free. Um, Knight to retreat for free. And uh, also Teleon to retreat for free. So why not play Air Balloon as a nice float out in this deck? The reason this deck plays no fossils itself and only the Omnite and Omastar is because of Pokemon Research Lab. So it says once during each player's turn, they can search the deck for two fossil Pokemon. Uh, so two Omnite and put them onto their bench and it ends their turn. But this is a great way to just next turn say, hey man, I got item lock next turn. Uh, here you go, bud. Uh, and yeah, Wondrous Labyrinth is the only stadium this deck plays. Uh, we see this in a few decks, allowing uh, more energy to be required for attacking. So yeah, playing one of those. Two copies of Boss here to gust up. Four copies of Green's Exploration here. This deck plays uh, a few Pokemon with abilities, but if, before they get into play, they can Green's to find those trainer cards that they need to get attacking, uh, such as... Uh, the reset stamps, maybe the Poke Gears to find more supporters, Evolution Incense, uh, Energy Disruption cards, a whole lot of cards, and even Energy here with Caspacious Bucket. Uh, and yeah, one copy of Surge here. This deck usually is not taking prizes right away, so can utilize Surge to play an extra supporter if they have more prizes than their opponent. Uh, draw supporters, does play four copies of Marnie here, Disruption and Draw, and Maulana is a great way to heal and keep these Inteleons up and running. And to round out the supporter count here, two copies of Yelgrunt, putting an energy onto their opponent's active back into their hand. Slowing down the pace of the game is the name of the game uh, for this Inteleon VMAX deck. And nine copies of Water Energy to round it out. So here's the list one more time for anyone who is wondering here uh, as we're getting into more of these decks here. This might be a little bit of a longer video, but I want to make sure I can at least cover all these decks here. Uh, next up, we have Justin Lambert actually playing the same 60 cards as uh, Isaac Velasquez got second, which we'll cover that list uh, in a little bit. But, yeah, but turn of this VMAX, we cover this pretty... Uh, uh, a lot here had a lot of uh, had a pretty strong showing in top 16 and in top eight as well as you guys will see. I think three yeah three of the four decks in top four were Eternatus Vmax. So four four line of Eternatus, four Crobat, four Zigzagoon, pretty standard stuff. It's just opting to play the one copy of the uh, Assault Gate Hoopa, so not playing the uh, the Unified Minds Hoopa here. And some interesting inclusions. Plays one copy of Alolan Grimer here for that collect attack. So this deck usually wants to go second, and why not end your turn here by collecting and drawing yourself some more cards. Having cards in the hand is great for this deck to piece together the combo pieces it needs to get a full bench and set up. He's playing one copy of Umbreon Dark Raya. I talked to Justin, who piloted this deck. Uh, he said this is in here for Dark Moon GX. Uh, this deck can actually have a uh, good GX attack or have access to that. Preventing your opponent from playing trainer cards on their next turn. So it could set up to make sure that if your opponent needs boss to win, so to say. Dark Moon here, give yourself an extra turn and maybe give yourself boss for the game. Uh, and he said he didn't really utilize it. I think he said he only utilized it in one deck or in one game uh, yesterday. But still a solid card and the reasoning behind it seems pretty solid from what I could see. And one copy of Evil Tall told me he really liked this card here. Plays it for that derail attack. And it's also a nice for retreater in here. Uh, so in combination with... Uh, in combination with uh, Dangerous Drill, which is deck plays, which we'll go into, it's a great way to, to get rid of special energies here, and just a nice free retreat pivoter. Why not play it in the deck? Some of these decks in post-rotation played it, or pre-rotation played it here. And that's it for Pokemon. Uh, onto uh, item cards, playing two copies of Dangerous Drill. If you discard a dark Pokemon from your hand, you can discard any tool, special energy, or stadium in play. Uh, so this is very solid at disrupting and keeping the pace for this turn in this deck. Uh, he's playing four copies of Great Ball here. Looking at top seven, finding any Pokemon. Four copies of Quick Ball to find those basic Pokemon in the deck. Playing a lot of decks. Two reset stab. Pretty uh, standard stuff here. Disruption and uh, for your opponent uh, to set yourself ahead. Four copies of Scoop Net here for that Zigzagoon. Could also get these uh, uh, non-GX Pokemon, non-the Pokemon out of the active. Uh, and that's it for item cards. Opting to play three copies of Dark City. Uh, we see a lot of these decks... Uh, sort of going for this route of playing Dark City here, giving basic Pokemon free retreat, and that's the only stadium this deck plays. Three copies of Boss is the uh, the line that this deck wants to go down, again, gusting up Pokemon. Very solid. And four copies of Piers here, so I think this is the first deck we see with four, with Piers in the deck, allowing you to search out an energy and a dark Pokemon. So any energy, so it can find hide energy, uh, hiding energy, and capture energy. Just allows a little bit more consistency, and some of these decks, like uh, Inteleon Amistar, uh, provide item locks. So this is a great way to find out those Pokemon without having to rely on your item cards. Uh, and the last supporter of this deck plays is four copies of Research. Discard draw seven, pretty standard in here. So not playing the Marnie approach, wants to play Piers here instead of Marnie. And to round out, eight copies of Energy, that's pretty standard. Four Dark, uh, four Hiding, and one Capture here to round it out. So good stuff on Justin uh, for making top 16 here uh, in the Hexer tournament. Uh, as we get into our ninth place list, Joshua Sutherland here bubbled ninth unfortunately at 511 uh the only uh zacian luck medal i think to yeah to get into top 16 here 
Uh, so obviously, Lucario Mel Metal, Full Metal Wall GX is played in there to uh, reduce damage done and discard energy off the active. So good disruption uh, and uh, defense for this deck. And the main attacker in here is HMV, which we saw in ADP, but it's here for Brave Blade to deal 230 and take knockouts. Intrepid Sword is also a great way to add some consistency to this deck. Draw yourself some cards and accelerate energy under the board, which this deck does play some energy acceleration as well. Two copies of Zamazenta, Dauntless Shield. Top two decks, again, were VMAX decks, so it's a great way to wall out these VMAX decks that are slowly making their way into this post-rotation format here. Uh, it's playing one copy of Eldegoss V to bring back supporters from the discard pile into the hand. So very, very solid stuff there. Uh, allows them to get back Malana. A whole lot of uh, supporter cards place fighter for supporters in this deck. One copy of Hoopa Evil Abonition is a good way to set up uh, perfect math here with Zacian V uh, to knock out some of these bigger VMAX or tag team Pokemon here. One copy of Crobat V to draw cards and actually playing two copies of Oranguru. So valuing Primate Wisdom as an extra consistency, consistency out can also put Metal Energy onto the top of the deck to guarantee that Zacian draws to them with Intrepid Sword here. Uh, so very, very cool stuff there. Uh, and yeah, on to trainer cards. Uh, four copies of Crushing Hammer here, Disruption. We see that in the, some of these other decks here, such as Inteleon VMAX. One copy of Great Catcher to gust up those GX Pokemon. Four Metal Saucer to accelerate those energies. Four Quick Ball to find out the basics. Two Reset Stamp and four Switch. Pretty standard stuff in a lot of these lists. Switch is also very good because Zacian needs to, uh, cannot attack next turn if it uses Brave Blade, so it needs to switch into the bench and possibly switch back into another attacker here. Playing one copy of Tool Scrapper to get rid of some of those pesky tools this deck can have trouble respecting or dealing with. Wants to just respect stuff like Big Charm, Giant Cape, uh, and yeah, Tool Scrapper is a great way to do that. There is actually another deck playing Power Plant. Sorry, chat. Sorry, uh, YouTube. I'm still used to saying chat. Sorry, guys. Uh, Power Plant here. Two copies. Prevents GX Pokemon from having abilities. This deck doesn't play any Pokemon that are GXs that have abilities. So why not disrupt your opponent while you're at it? And that's it for trainers or for items and stadiums. Two copies of Bird Keeper. Great switch and draw here. We see that in some decks. Two boss. Pretty standard stuff. Two Malana healing uh, and switching out of the bench. And then four copies of Marnie for disruption draw. And three copies of research to round out the trader cards. Uh, Josh opting to play three copies of Weak Discard Energy values uh, how prominent fire type Pokemon can be in here. We saw a few fire type decks making it into the top 16 and top 8 here. So uh, wants to make sure he has an out against there. Uh, maybe wanting to play a little bit more metal. He does play 11 copies of metal energy, though. Uh, so it's plenty of metal energy to get into play and accelerate. Maybe he just wants those weak discards for that Lucario Mel metal here. Uh, and also can use it for Zamacenta. It does have one colorless in its attack cost here. So yeah, congratulations on Josh here for placing ninth place in last night's Hedger tournament. And we are finally here, guys, for the top eight decks here. Uh, we'll go into it right now with a bang, I'd say. I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of water here as we uh, go rapid fire here into top eight decks. Looks like we have um, Decidueye ADP, a deck I don't think a lot of people expected here for this tournament. Obviously, Decidueye, Deep Forest Camo, great at walling out those GX and V Pokemon. A lot of decks do not just have an answer to this. And wants to accelerate the damage here with ADP, Alter Creation GX, to uh, deal some more damage. Uh, and take more prizes on knockouts to sort of speed up the win con here. Splitting Arrow will now do 120 and 20 Sniper 2 Bench Pokemon, which seems very, very solid. Uh, interesting to note, is playing the 50 HP Rowlet. Uh, I think I'd expect to see some more decks play 60 HP Rowlet, uh, especially with Volcanion being able to one-shot it with only two um, energy in play. So, yeah. And one we'll copy of Dartrix as well, just in case they can't play item cards, wants to be able to just evolve up regularly into the Decidueye. And that's it for Pokemon, so only 10 Pokemon in this deck. Two copies of Energy Spinner to find those basic energies out. We see four copies of Pokegear, a lot of Pokegear in these top 16 lists here, now in this top 8 list as well. Four copies of Quick Ball to find basic Pokemon out of the deck. And three copies of Rare Candy is the best way to get Decidueye in play, turn 2 even. Uh, allowing a stage a basic Pokemon to evolve into a stage two if that Pokemon's been in play and you have a stage two in hand. A lot of text chat you can read or, or uh, guys you can read that here. One copy of reset stamp, disruption, and uh, yeah, disruptions for your opponent. One copy of switch, switching out of the active is always good, especially if you start ADP and you need to get that out of the active. Great way to switch it out and uh, get your decision wise up in the active. Is playing this tag call engine here, so three copies of tag call, playing a few tag team supporters, and playing this uh, ADP as well, which is a tag team Pokemon, so it can be grabbed with tag call. That's it for item cards. Also playing two copies of Big Charm, plus 30 HP. This is great against stuff like Duraludon. It can wall them out and uh, force them to not even be able to one-shot Decidueye. Uh, Big Charm's just a general card. 170 HP is good on this, and 310 HP on ADP as well. Uh, yeah, two copies of Turfield going for the stadium that uh, Armando Cervantes, uh, forgive me if I pronounced that wrong, Armando Cervantes played in his deck here. Uh, and a lot of supporters here, two copies of Boss to switch, three Cynthia Caitlyn, this is the first Cynthia Caitlyn I think we saw in uh, any list here, especially in uh, top eight. 
puts the supporter back from discard pile into hand, and you can disc and you have to discard a card from your hand, uh, or you uh, you can you can discard a card from your hand uh, and draw yourself three cards. So getting back stuff like boss greens, all the other supporters here, and drawing yourself cards, two great effects uh, on one card here. Cynthia Caitlin making its way into this deck. Four copies of greens. We see the situation does have an ability, but before you get it into play, you go ahead and greens out those cards like rare candy and spinner to get your energy in play. Tag call to find yourself energy. Uh, tag call to find yourself supporters. Pokemon. It's just a good card in general and it's played in a lot of these Decidueye decks. One copy of Goose Valhalla here. Finds out Stadium, Special Energy, and po and uh, a tool card here, which this deck does play Special Energy, tool cards, and Stadium. So, great card in this deck. And is searchable out with Tag Call, as well as Malamana is searchable, healing and switching out of the bench here. Two copies of Marnie is good draw and disruption here for Decidueye. And three copies of Rosa, the first time you see Rosa in a top eight list here. Uh, if a Pokemon was knocked out, you can search your deck for not only a Pokemon trainer and also a basic energy, and they all go into your hand. So, you can find a popular combination with this is Decidueye, Rare Candy, and uh, a Grass, Metal, or Water energy here. Uh, and yeah. Uh, it's gonna be the last supporter played in this deck here. Plays five different types of energy here. Three Aurora energy provides rainbow. We covered this before. One copy of weak discard energy. And actually playing three copies of, or two copies of grass, three copies of metal, and three copies of water here. So valuing a bunch of different types of energy. Can search out the individual energy he wants here with energy spinner. So not too, too inconsistent, but I wonder how this impacted, uh, maybe he wanted to, uh, find more grass energy on the day. So, uh, we'll have to definitely reach out to him and uh see what he thought about that but top eight finish nothing to scoff at nonetheless here so we'll just get right into the sixth and seventh place tier list pat and curry and caleb rogerson playing the same 60 cards here uh ironically finishing uh sixth and seventh here uh so both having a top eight finish playing mewtwo and mew welder here obviously centering around this uh mewtwo and mew gx tag team 270 hp perfection allowing it to use the attacks of any gx in the discard pile or in play and we play a whole lot of them, so we'll just go in and get into it and their usage here. Charizard GX has Flare Blitz. 4 Energy 300 is very solid, and in a lot of matchups, such as uh, ADP, your GX attack of choice here. Flamethrower is also a good attack. 140 for 4 is not bad, especially when there's a lot of squishy targets here in this format uh, that you can take care of. Let's play Reshiram and Charizard GX, Outrage, and Flare Strike are the main attacks. You can also use Double Blaze here, 3 Energy 200. You're usually not going to be using the extra effect here, as Charizard just does that better. Does an extra 100 and uh, ignores effects. Uh, but Charizard just does that for better. Does 300 for 4 instead of 6. So, uh, plays one copy of Naganadal GX for Venom Shot. Good at sniping to Denny GX. Uh, and also plays Zigzagoon here uh, with Headbutt Tantrum. So, it can even take out stuff like Eldegoss and Crobat here, which this deck does play as well. Uh, as well, because you do 170 with Venom Shot and then deal an extra 10 damage you need with Zigzagoon. Let's play one copy of Incineroar here, mainly for Darkest Tornado, so another GX attack. 10 plus 50 more for each damage counter this has, so if it has like, I think if it has like 13 damage counters on it, 130 damage, I think it does like 800 damage. So, uh, basically the philosophy of, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me here. And, uh, three more attackers here in this deck. One copy of Cobalion here for Iron Rule can be very good, uh, allows your opponent to not attack next turn. So if you need to set up something with a boss play, uh, not attacking means usually your opponent's not going to be dealing damage to you, and you can get yourself that extra turn you need. Uh, and it's also playing one copy of Espeon Doxus for Cross Division GX. We haven't seen this in Mewtwo and Mew Welder decks in a while, but it puts 10 damage counters, so 100 damage on your opponent's board uh, if you have a Psychic and two colors. And if you have three extra energy, you put 200 damage instead of 100 on your opponent's board, which can be great at taking out a lot of squishy targets, uh, such as Mad Partiers, uh, Jirachis, a lot of things uh, can be killed. So you can take multi-prize turns with Espeon and Deoxys here. And it's also playing one copy for DDV. Watch over is great at healing your active, but mainly for that psychic attack. Temple 60 more for each energy on your opponent's active. And with Senna Scorch being a deck that at least got top 16 here, uh, it's a great way to. Uh, you actually one shot a Senna Scorch if it has 6 energy on it. So a 2 prizer that can heal uh, active Pokemon and deal good damage here. Temple 60 for every energy is very solid. And one copy, uh, we go into our support Pokemon here. One copy of Jirachi here. Psychic Zone here. Don't apply with Psychic Weakness when Pokemon take damage. So. Things like things that are psychic type that want to hit this Mewtwo Mew will not apply da will not apply weakness here if Jirachi is in play. And uh, on to support Pokemon here, uh, playing two copies or three copies of the Dene GX with Dene Change, discarding your hand uh, and drawing yourself six cards here. So uh, very solid stuff there. Uh, yeah. And then one copy of Eldegoss V. Happy match again to find supporters and Crobat V with uh, Dark Assets to draw yourself some cards as well. Yeah, it plays a lot of Pokemon. 19 Pokemon in here, so we'll get into the items. Only plays five different item cards here. Four copies of Cherish Ball. Four copies of Poke Gear here. We've covered a lot of these cards, so we'll kind of just go through this quickly. Four copies of Quick Ball. One Reset Stamp. And four copies of Switch to round out the items here for this deck. Uh, and yeah. 
Three copies of Giant Hearth, the Sustainable Choice. We saw this in the Santa Scorch VMAX deck as well. Discard a card from your hand, buy two fire out of the deck. Solid, solid stuff here. Uh, and yeah, that rounds out the uh, Stadium cards here. Two copies of Boss's Orders to switch out Bench Pokemon, pick off the targets they want. One copy of Research, just in case you can't draw into your Welders and Fire Energies. Research is a great way to not only get Pokemon discard pile, but of course draw yourself some cards. And the main supporter of choice in this deck is of course Welder. Attaching Fire Energy to your Pokemon and drawing you cards uh, allows this Mewtwo and Mew to get accelerated quickly and attack. It does also play Volcanion and Victini, I forgot to mention that. So Flare Starter, this deck usually sometimes wants to go second, so it allows energy to get into play fast. Also, is a good one price attacker against stuff like the Situi. And Victini V, Spreading Flames is another way, great way to get energy to play, and Energy Burst is another solid burst option attack here. This deck has options for. Uh, and then onto energy, playing three copies of Horror Energy here, provides Psychic Energy, and um, if the Psychic Pokemon, so Mewtwo Mew, uh, gets knocked out, or takes damage, two damage counters goes back in the active, so a little bit of a uh, uh, revenge mechanic here. Uh, if it gets hit, you put damage on, solid, it's just a little bit better than playing Psychic Energy in this deck. And 11 copies of Fire Energy to round up the deck, so that was the 6th and 7th place list here. Congratulations to Patton and Caleb here. Uh, on their top eight finish as we get into our last top eight deck here it is adp zashi in a very similar list to the list that sam elliott played this time piloted by justin kulos here uh so we'll get into the pokemon quickly adp two copies of it ultra creation gx you know the name of the game three copies of zashi we've covered this as well is opting to go for a jirachi build so sam opted to go for non jirachi build and it looks like uh, uh it looks like justin opting to go for the build of uh i want to go jirachi i want to get consistency here uh, it looks like it worked out for him as playing school nuts here as well. Sorry, Chad, I gotta get a... Uh, or, sorry, guys, I have to take one more drink of water. It's hard talking for uh, 35 minutes straight right now. All right. Uh, also, just play one copy of Melodic V here. Aqua Impact is an answer to Seta Scorch VMAX. We'll one-shot it with Alter Creation GX, so... Um very very solid option here i think even without alter creation it does one shot yeah without alter creation it still one shots and i'm pretty sure so yeah solid solid stuff uh and then support pokemon two copies of the gx then it changed you know the drill and crobat it's shaman ex boys i'm just gonna go ahead and say it and that's it for the pokemon here on to item cards three copies of cherish ball finding out those to denes and uh rc style and poke from the deck two copies of energy spinner to find those basic energies three copies of energy switch again manipulating energy on the board to possibly allow for that turn one alter creation as well Four copies of Metal Saucer, played in the Zacian decks, why not, accelerate energy from the discard pile. Uh, excuse me, Justin is playing four copies of Pokemon Catcher, so it looks like Pokemon Catcher is coming back into the meta here. Flipping a coin of heads, you switch your opponents to fetch Pokemon with their active. Uh, solid card here, uh, a great card nevertheless to gust up the Pokemon, especially when you have to research and dig for cards. Four copies of Quick Ball, three copies of Scoob Up Net here, so that Jirachi can get out of the active as we do lose a Skateboard here. Uh, four copies of Switch, very popular in this deck, is often just go for two copies of Turbo Patch to round out the items in our deck, as well as two copies of Toughness Cape as the tool card for this deck, giving basic Pokemon that are not GX 50 more HP, so it makes Zacian into a buff 270 HP <laughs> two prizer, which is very solid. Deck only plays six supporters, so two copies of Boss for Gust and four copies of Research as its draw support and um eight metal energy here and uh two water energy to round it out here for the deck here so solid stuff there as we move into the top four here joseph amberson is our first person finished fourth place last night with turnus list playing a little bit of a different turnus list that we haven't seen too much of we saw a lot of turnus here four slots of it in top four here two both top four and then a uh place in second here so obviously a turn to this you know what it does here you've been watching that's it four copies of crobat here and actually playing three instead of four copies of galarian zigzagoon here instead one copy of absol with dark ambition here and uh it is also yeah allows the retreat cost to um uh be a little bit more here on these basic pokemon uh one more on basic pokemon and it's playing that one one split of hoopa and uh hoopa so the assault gate one and the evil admonition one one copy of spirit tomb here with uh, Anguish Cry and Building Spite, don't know how much you use that here, I'll have to talk to him about that, but it is another good one prize attacker uh, against the Uh The deck does play three copies of um, Great Ball here. Uh, sorry chat, just gotta uh, respond to this here. Uh, three copies of Great Ball and four copies of Quick Ball here as the only search outs for Pokemon here. Uh, yeah, playing one copy of Reset Stamp and four copies of Scoop Up Net uh, to pick up the Zigzagoons and those other non-GX, non-V Pokemon here. Uh, one copy of Tool Scrapper uh, as well to get rid of those tool cards on the opponent's side. Uh, and yeah, one copy of Black Market Prism Star is, um, 
yeah, also included in this deck. Uh, very interesting inclusion. I think we're going to see this a little bit more in decks. When Dark Pokemon get knocked out, your opponent takes one less prize card. So instead of taking three prizes off in a turn of this VMAX, your opponent only takes two, which can definitely swing the prize trade in your favor even more. And it's often to play two copies of KOX. Well, I know this definitely came in clutch for him in a lot of matchups, especially if decks are not playing Marshadow and want to have their stadium in play. Chaotic Swell says, hey man, if you play the stadium down, it's going to get discarded. And then I'm just going to go ahead and play another one down. So very solid stuff. Deck also plays two Air Balloon as its tool card as it's not playing... Uh, Dark uh, Dark City, so it needs another way to switch out here. As it's not playing Switch, only playing Force Google Net and two Air Balloon as it's switching cards in here. Also, two Bird Keeper, so my bad. Two Bird Keeper, switch and draw, you guys know this. A lot of the same supporters being featured in decks here. Looks like three copies of Boss, one copy of Malana, two Marnie here for Disruption and Draw, and four copies of Research. And it's going for a very interesting uh, line of energy here. Playing no hiding Dark Energy, instead opting for three Capture Energy and nine Dark. So 12 Energy in this deck, wants to make sure he does not miss attachments on his turn. Uh, so yeah, again, congratulations to Joe here on his top four finish. We're now getting into our next top four deck, which was a turn of this again. So we'll kind of go through this pretty quickly here. Uh... It looks like he is playing 4 4 a turn of this line. Uh, 4 Crobat and a one the one Grimer here that we saw in um, Justin Lambert's list. Also found in Isaac's list, who is our second place list. Uh, so, yeah. One collect here to draw your one collect Grimer to draw yourself some cards. Absolutely here to make the bench Pokemon. Uh, our opponent's active Pokemon, if it's a basic, a little bit harder to retreat. One more colorless. And that one copy of Assault Gate Hoopa and four six Zagoon to round out the Pokemon here. Four copies of Great Ball. List is playing one ordinary rod here to shuffle back some Pokemon and energies just in case they get discarded in any way, shape, or form here. And then for searching outs, four copy of Quick Ball and three copies of Pokemon Communication here. Uh, and then two last two item cards are two copies of Reset Stamp and four Scoob on that. We see that a lot in this deck that plays Zigzagoon. Also can get your absolute grimer and hoopa out of the active here on stadiums is often to go with dark city here we see this in a lot of decks i think uh turn this decks will start to favor dark city a little bit more as its stadium of choice four copies of boss and the four peer uh three peers package so often to play boss and, or peers instead of marnie and high copies of boss peers again searching out energy cards and dark pokemon from the deck and uh did i just get did i just get locked i got locked out of the the server here holy shit dude that was um Wow, I am very surprised. We got server DC'd here. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess we live with the chat. Don't steal my info here. Uh, you guys don't know my password anyway, so um, yeah, don't try to get into my account. I'd appreciate it. We'll go ahead and get back into this list here. Uh, and yeah, looks like four copies of research here uh, to round out the supporters, and then uh, one copy of capture energy, four hide, and four dark. That was very very strange. I did not know what that was. <laughs> But uh, I guess we got server booted, server DC. You love when uh, we love when that happens. So uh, yeah. Um, yeah. But do I have un unsafe changes? I guess I DC'd out, so that's why. All right, and uh, we'll go ahead and get into our second place list here. Two more lists to go through here, chat. Uh, it's been a little bit, but we'll go ahead and see this. This is the same list as Justin's list here. So no real need to explain it. I've explained all this stuff before. Uh, but yeah, Isaac Molaski piloting this to a second place finish. So congratulations to him. Uh, if you guys want to see that, uh, so hopefully I'll have timestamps or something up here uh, that shows everything here. But same list as the 10th place list. Congratulations to Justin here. And our first place list here, if I can actually find our first place list. Where is it here? Here we go. Uh, first place list was actually Intellia on VMAX here. So we covered this before here with Max Bullet and Hydro Snipe here. Going for a little bit more of an aggro deck here as he's playing Frost Moth with Ice Dance so he can get these Intellions powered up more. He's going to be opting to use Max Bullet a little bit more than the other Danny's list, which plays Hydro Snipe. So yeah, Andrew Hendrick here piling this to a first place finish. Other notable inclusions here uh, is playing four copies of Jirachi here because he's playing the four Scoot and four Switch. One copy of the Dene GX, uh, one Zigzagoon here, and one Crobat, as well as uh, one Keldeo GX here. Mainly, Pure Heart is a good ability against these decks that rely on GX Pokemon, and Resolute Blade is a good copy, uh, good counter to a turn of this. 50 damage reaches your opponent's bench Pokemon, so if they have 7 bench Pokemon, you deal 350 damage to them. And that wraps out the supporter Pokemon, uh, this, uh, the Pokemon in this deck. On to items here, 3 Caspacious, Cap, Capacious Bucket. I don't know how to say it, chat. I don't know how to say it. Binds you water energy out of your deck. We've covered it before. On to Pokemon Search for PCOM and for Quick Ball here. And we covered four Scoot on that and four Switch. Seen a lot of deck and is opting to play at one copy of Wondrous Labyrinth. This deck could usually get a little bit more energy than it needs for its attack cost here. So Wondrous Labyrinth is a great way to punish your opponent uh, if they just need exactly enough energy to attack. As it requires non fairy Pokemon to attack for one colorless less. Or one colorless more, rather. Sorry, chat. Two copies of Bird Keeper, two Boss, three Marnie, and four Research to round out the deck here. Uh, supporter count, as well as nine Water Energies. Again, congratulations to Andrew Hendrick here. Uh, Andrew Hendrick on placing first place here in the second Hexer Top League Tournament. I want to thank you guys for watching. It's been a little bit of a long one here, 43 minutes. I'm looking on my uh, clock here. 
Uh, thank you guys so much. If you guys want to see the tournaments live, again, go go follow the Twitch channel. Uh, go subscribe if you can over there. And subscribe to the channel here. We're close to uh, 200 subs. Uh, we want to get some more here. Bring out this content to you guys a little bit more. Uh, and yeah, thanks again. Remember to click that Discord link in the below. Follow me on socials. Follow me on Twitter. Everything is down in the description. Make sure you guys check that out. Thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a nice one.